Hello and welcome to episode 16 of Maya Let's Play. Just woke up, new day, and now it's time to go and get back into Thomcraft. Again, I still want to go over all the the researched Thomcraft stuff that I've done. As you can see, I finally uh, let out all the awarded uh, jars here, instead of just having some of them empty. Let's get straight into it. I already have my Thomonomicon on me. Yes, thank you, Minecraft Music, for butting in to my con with a uh, into me talking. As you can see, there's some golems that I actually want to get to today, but I don't have all of these. And this one is intelligence, and I think these are more upgrades for them. And uh, I would like to get to them today. Maybe get to uh, these wands too. But first, I have to research them. Magic tallow. Okay, so let's go into research. Now, I know golems, for a fact, both need modus and, uh, was it imperio? Yeah, imperiato, which is control. So let's research these, because I know I'll get something. Yeah, there we go. Stone golem worker. Well, if it's stone, I'm pretty sure we're going to need to get some cobble here. And research to that. Research, research, research. Oh, come on. 93. There we go. And then some permutato. Which? Eggs. Eggs are really cheap for a lot. There we go. Got ourselves a stone golem worker. While studying the properties of stone, you think you may have found a way to apply the principles you have learned to golems. Results will be a go golem capable of carrying loads to and from containers. Sweet. So you can th set up like a sorting system with these kind of golems. Stone requires bricks. So yeah. So there's speed, perception, and strength. Which are what those upgrades are. So let's get some more rubber. Nope. Oh. Yep, there we go. Another one of these. So I'm pretty sure we're going to need permutato, too. Yeah. Clay. So I'm going to need to get some clay, probably. I thought I had some in here. I think clay is uh, earth and water. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So let's get us get ourselves some earth, which we can get from gravel. Yep, cars earth. Come on, research. There we go. Clay golem worker. Get that out. Further studies from the properties of earth and stone has led you to a possible refinement of the st of the stone golem. You believe a golem crafted from clay might be able to well, might be able to keep a chest stocked with items you instructed to. So, whoop. Seems like I can hit stuff with while I'm like that. Sweet. Now, I think there's another golem here. I think. There should be another golem, and that's the one I'm looking for, called a tallow golem. So let's go and get ourselves some tallow, maybe. Now let's continue researching a uh, modus and imperiato. Yeah, there we go. Well, that was easy. Yeah, the tallow golem worker. And I'm pretty sure we're going to need eggs again for this. Yep. Ooh, there's a lot of things in here. Oh. Yeah, required meat and permutato. And then we're gonna need crafting ones, which we can get from crafting tables. Huh, I didn't know that this had a uh, modus and that. I'm actually gonna need to get more myself some more pieces of wood. Let's go do that. Wood, wood, wood. Uh, 
Uh, let's see, how much do we need? Let's get ourselves uh, eight. Keep the extra wood just in case. Pretty sure gonna need more. Yep. Just used a stack of wood on some crafting tables. Usually make a few. Having mastered the art of making golems fetch and carry for you, the next step would be able to make them help you with other things around the lab. Yeah, there we go. And that goes all the way from up over there. So we're going to need Victus and Animus. Tallow golems incorporate organic material into their construction, which grant them a considerable flexibility and intelligence. Tallow golems are particularly well suited to work in a thomic lab, particularly al alchemical apparatuses. Not surprising, since they, since they themselves are, particular, are partially born of alchemy. When assigned to assist with the crucible and given a bucket, they are capable of keeping it supplied with water. You only need to mark a suitable water source for them to fetch it from. Their flexibility ensures that they will be able to man similar alchemical and thomic apparatuses and help them with their operation. It is unusual for you to need more than one talagolem per task as they are clever enough to perform the task all on all linked apparatuses that require it. Okay. So, I actually need to get myself some tallow and one of these cores, and then I need to mark some water. So what are, what, what are these cores? So I need some nitor and bricks, and this requires eight modus and eight imperiato, which is four of these. That makes things simple. I'm also going to need some nitor, which are uh, four ignis, four potentia, and six lux. So, I'm going to need my wand. Let's see. No, I had all my stuff in there. What am I doing? Me getting confused. Okay. Need to make one nitor, which I can get from coal if I'm right. Yes. Hmm. I think I do have... Uh, I've got eight potentia and eight fire, so I think I can get myself two nitors. There we go. There we go. And then I'm going to need to throw in 12 torches. Get myself two nitor. Put in that, that, and then 12 torches. There we go. Make sure I did this right. Pretty sure. Yes. Whoops. I accidentally filled these up. That's not good. I accidentally wasted myself some files. That's okay. And then throw in four more torches. Accidentally shift right clicked. Okay. Let's not do that again. I'm so used to shift right clicking to get the the stuff out that I got used to it. Throw in all that. There we go. This time I actually got him. And then I think I have some Lux that's left over. I have four. Let's throw in one. Oh, first I'm going to need a bucket of water in there. And four more torches.
It's a good thing that water's free, eh? So I'm gonna, soon I'm going to have my own golems that'll do this for me. Okay. Now I got some Nitor. I'm going to need... Whoop. These cores. Which is four bricks. I'm actually going to need eight of this. And that's the reason why I went back, because I needed those bricks. I made some off-camera. Uh, let's grab all of them. And then I'm actually going to need some wood and some wool. One of you, one of you, and four of you. So I can mark the things. And crafting table. I already forgot. Needed to color this one. There we go. Get some ourselves some yellow markers. And then I was actually going to make another block. I'll do it right now. Uh, this other block is called a chunk loader. And uh, to make it, you need to get yourself a, an enchantment table. Kind of expensive. Some gold ingots like this. And an ender pearl here on top. Get yourself a chunk loader. This is a chunk loader from uh, Chicken Bones, Ch Chicken Chunks. The cool thing about this, about this chicken, uh, this uh, chunk loader, is that uh, you can choose the size of it. I'm actually going to put it in, in over here somewhere, so I can keep all my farmland and all my thomic creations, you know, chunk loaded. See, this this is a radius of two, which is nine chunks. Which is pretty much a 3x3, three three, I think. Let's show some lasers. If I go out over here, this will show you the chunk boundaries. Should be at the end of this one. Yeah, there we go. Let's bump it up to 3. That'll hopefully keep all of our farmland and our farm craft room all chunk loaded. Hide the lasers and that should be good. Now if I ever leave this area, all of this will be, be kept chunk loaded. Okay, back to this. Now, I'm going to need to make, make myself some of these uh, animation cores, which are made like so. I'm just going to need 8 modus and 8 imperio, imperio, which I can get from 4 rubber. I got some water. Oh, maybe if I actually, you know, throw them in there. There we go. I should be able to pull out this basic one. There we go. There's some more water. Wait for this to start bubbling. Get ourselves another one. Bubble bubble. So I'm going to make myself two. There we go. And then from here, I'm going to need five tallow for each. So to make magic tallow, four corpus. That's really easy. I already have a bunch of this stuff. So I'm going to need 10. And one bottle makes two, so I'm going to need five bottles of this stuff. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And that's a lot. We just chunk it in here. Get my wand and then right click. Yep, ten tallow. So we already have some animus, and then we're gonna need some victus. Yep, that's being pulled from there. Which is awesome, right? 
Do I have anything out over here? Nope. Okay, so Victus. Which I think I can get from apples. Uh, or from copper. Wheat. Thought I had some apples over here. I guess wheat will have to do. See, I'm going to need eight. So that's four each. I'm also going to have some of those crops, but then I can use them later for anything else. So I'll say one tallow golem worker. And I think one of these filled up. Yeah, that one. Let's throw in four more. One, two, three, four. Get ourselves another one. Yeah. wonder if they stack. They do. I'm surprised. Let's get out the rest of these uh, crop stuff here. Because crops go in there. So you can see used up some of our uh, soul over here. Now let's mark a... Uh, hmm... wonder if I can just mark this, mark it like this. If I can get out, like so. I'm also going to need a bucket. Throw that stuff in there. Uh, I'm going to carry back my bricks. This and that can go in there along with that. Our chunk loader doing its thing. Okay. I think I have an extra bucket here in my other tool chest. Right here. Bricks can go back in here. One day I'm going to need to upgrade my power system. But then that can wait. Okay, bucket. Get ourselves our tallow golem workers. And if I right click on one of these sides of the tallow golem worker, it'll 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 automatically uh you know try to keep this thing filled. Like so. How you doing, golem worker? If you give me a bucket, I shall keep the crucible filled with water. And you shall be Yellow. Here's a bucket, sir. Yeah, look at him go. Aw, oh, yeah. Got myself some golems. And he's going to keep that filled for us. Now, this other golem worker that I'm going to have, he's going to try to uh, get rid of all of these... Uh, these... Uh, he's going to empty out all these uh, Alembics here and put them in, into these files over here. As you can see, I've already got these uh, marker blocks right here, and they're all labeled as white. He'll automatically uh, try to fill up, if, if one already has one specific aspect in it, he'll try to go to that one first. And then if there's not any room in that one, or if he's got a different aspect that doesn't, you know, correspond to any of these, he'll go and put it into an empty one. They're pretty smart like that. Like so. I shall gather essences for the Olympic for you, Master. I only need files or a place to get them. Which is why I conveniently have a another yellow marker. Oh, actually, I think I might need a white marker. Yeah. I'm actually going to need to get myself a white marker. Uh, don't have the materials on me in here. That's okay. They're not that hard to make. Piece of wool and four wood. Like so. And just like I did with this uh, watermark over here, so to, to keep the floor all nice and neat looking, I'm going to put it underneath here. Like so. And you should automatically 
already go for it. Yeah. Look at him go. Put that in there. But what I'm actually going to do is uh, tell him to uh, go for white. Yeah. So now if I do any more thumb craft stuff, he's going to automatically uh, empty out those files for me. Aw, oh, man. I'm becoming quite a thomic genius over here. Okay. Now there are the there are these other golems that I saw down over here. A straw golem worker, farming golem. Now he can be placed anywhere, and as long as there are fully grown crops, reeds, or plants nearby, it'll harvest them. The smart versions of the straw golem can only can also instantly replant what they just harvested on the same block as well as any nearby blocks. Now that's a golem that I need, especially for my farming, and I need to get a smart one. So let's get ourselves a smart... Yeah, we already, we already researched it. That's good. So we need to get another one of these basic. Yeah, I should probably just keep my bricks over here, since I'm making all this uh, stuff. Bricks, you're coming with me. I'm also going to grab some coal. I think I was actually running out. And I probably need to make some torches. Especially if Nightcore is involved. Get myself a stack. Of torches. Six can go back. Okay. Let's go get ourselves some more Nightcore. I'm gonna make about like uh, I'm gonna make myself one of these golems. So nitor four four. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make two nitor. I think. Yeah. I'll make one, and then I'll make two, and I'll have four stone left over. So I'm also gonna throw in. Two of this. That way, you know, I can easily manage all the flux. And all these guys will do it, will fill up all this stuff automatically. So if I go and throw in this, and this, should me get me eight of everything. And I need four of each, which will get me two, so I'm going to need to throw in twelve torches. Yeah. And all we need to do is right click with a wand. Not shift right click, but just right click. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at my golems working. Oh my gosh, you guys are just so smart. Oh yeah. Automatic golems. Sweet. Now, I'm gonna make... I might as well make two... Nah. Only need, really need the one. I'll keep this knife for for something else. Go and get... Oh, I'm almost out of rubber. Over here. That's okay. 8-8. Eight, eight. Wand. And we're good. Get ourselves an animation core basic. Just like so. Oh yeah. Look at him go. Now to get a smart one, whoop, let's not place a dirt block there. We're going to need a fire shard and 12 cognito. Fire shard. What are you? Throw in that and cognito. Let me check and get from paper. We need 12. Ooh. Which means I'm going to have 12 water and 12 of those, which I think I'm gonna, I can... Yeah, I can use sugar cane to offset that. So, 16... 
and 12. Let me just throw it in there and see where to go from there. So there's 12, and I need those other two to be 16. So let's throw in these one at a time. There we go, just needed two. We're gonna put our fire shard in here? Yeah, we'll get our cognito. And then this guy will do his own thing and fill up our jars for us. Intelligence. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at him go. I don't know why you put the water over there. Well, I guess I don't have any water over here. Look at that, it's already started bowling. Man, these guys are awesome. Isn't that right? Hey. Yeah. Too bad that they don't look up at you anymore. Oh yeah, sometimes they do. Now we got ourselves an intelligent one. I think I'm gonna need some straw. Or wheat, should I say. Now I can already pull out the last bit of this. But I need eight Victus, which I can get from this. There we go. Get ourselves a smart straw golem worker. Oh yeah. Fuse there? There we go. Oh yeah, these guys are awesome. And I think... Make for a poor construction material, which means the golems cannot carry anything. Aw. Uh, but, we've also got this magical wood golem. Yeah. Wood golems can only be crafted from great wood. First step in golem NC, or similar container with the wood golem, will keep a close watch on its surroundings. It'll spot a loose item on the ground, so we can use these, uh, these, uh, these wood golems to, uh, pick up stuff for us. I think I'm out of this soul stuff, yeah. Which is really unfortunate. So let's craft ourselves another core here. Two, three, four. <coughs> And then I'm out of uh, rubber. Let me go get some more. Maybe have some kind of like automatic wheat farm going. Why did I come in here? Oh yes. Uh, rubber. Like we have a ton of this stuff here. Yeah, a little rubber farm that we made. It's doing just fine. It's out over here. Somewhere. So let's throw in one, two, three, four. Oh, if I can actually hit it inside the uh, cauldron. There we go. Get ourselves a basic one. We put the basic with some great wood. I think that's what it said. Really expensive. Say, so yeah. Need four. Four Victus. Then we're gonna need some of this soul stuff, which I think I can only get from soul sand. We need to get eight. Then we'll have some eight dirt and then eight of the shackle stuff, whatever it's called. And three of them, yeah, because we'll use up two of them. And then. The earth, the crops, and then the shackle stuff will each go into here, and nothing will overflow. Get ourselves a regular wood golem. Oh yeah, look at him go. And these golems rock. Another thing I need to check. rest of this stuff. There we go. Now another thing I want to check before I get started is to check on my uh, wisp farm since I'm doing all this thomcraft stuff. They, they, they usually like to generate whenever uh, 
I start making things in my uh, infusion altar. Do I hear any of them? Nope. None of them are here. I'm surprised. Yep. Good thing for those Lincoln books. Let's grab ourselves a chest. Maybe some of our seed bags, too. Grab all of them. I wonder how... I wonder what these range on these wood golems are. What I was thinking about doing... Oh, I might need my hoe, but luckily I have it with me. Grab this like that. Grab our chest right here. Uh, grab a hoe. Like so. Find down those seeds again. Now let's see. Now this golem should harvest everything up, up, up over here and automatically replant them. Now look at them go. Oh, he's actually going to go over there too. And then this wood golem should be able to pick up everything. Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, and he's... Oh, look at that. This wood golem went and got... Yeah, I might need to make myself another wood golem here. Because he's not picking up any of that stuff. Oh, look at that. I got some farmers out over here. Yeah, I definitely need to make myself another wood golem. And with that, I think it's a good wrapping up point. Got ourselves some automatic farms with Thomcraft. <laughs> Look at them just go. So, this is Lunchbox signing off. Oh man, those things are just so cool. Well, this is Lunchbox signing off. Adios, and... Wait, and good night.